Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Cocaine Arena. This is the first game of uh, the Don Johnson Atlantic Junior B Championships here in the beautiful Cocaine, New Brunswick, southeast region of the province. So we got both New Brunswick representatives on the ice tonight between the Kent Coyotes and the Moncton Beatles. Roger Surratt calling the play-by-play. -play. Glad you can join us here this evening. Beatles will send the puck in in the zone. It's Dag. Leblanc behind his own net. Basque along the boards in his own zone. Trying to chip it away. He can't. Robert will use the boards over to Basque. Basque. High saucer pass looking for Josh Bro. Bouncing puck. It's tipped into the neutral zone off the stick of Richard. Richard. Centering pass. That's tipped away by Leblanc. That was at Miguel Richard behind the net. Putting on the brakes, Jeremy Leblanc. Leblanc over to the far side, near collision at center ice along the boards. Miguel Richard was involved. Richard with the puck in front. That's tip from the blue line. Triste with the shot. Save by, that's in goal at Pierre. Uh, sorry, it's uh, Jeremy Leblanc. From the blue line, book shot, blocked in front. Ferguson keeps it in, Poitier. <coughs> Looking for it to set at the blue line, not strong enough. The Vito's up in transition, trying to muscle himself in. That is uh, number 15, uh, Nicolas Pitre. And we got a stoppage in play. With uh, 124 gone by, too many men on the ice to start things off on a bad line change. And uh, the Coyotes will be shorthanded to start off the early stages of this game. And the powerhouse first unit of the Moncton Vitos is currently on the ice. We've got uh, Alex Melanson. We've got Johnny Chambers, number 19, Chris Dunham at the blue line. Yannick Leblanc. And on defense, Alex Gallant, number 26. These two teams met in the New Brunswick final. Moncton winning in six games. So, Mon uh, not Moncton, excuse me, Kent won their first championship in their nine-year existence. Beating out the Vitos in six games. Got out at the blue line. Looking for an opening. His shot that's blocked in the slot. Poitier. Couldn't bring it up. Saucer pass along the boards. Poitier gets it at the blue line. Poitier, tall drink of water. Chambers up on the rush. He's got Melanson and Dunham on the trailer. Chambers puts on the brakes. Chambers. Sends it down low to Dunham. Dunham circles the net, slowing down the pace. Richard now at the blue line. Melanson, shot. That's tip, went wide, rebound off the boards, and Leblanc makes the glove save after a couple of whacks down low. 224 gone by, one minute exactly left. And the too many men call against the, against the Coyotes. Face-off will be to the left of Zachary Leblanc. Dag, quick shot off the pads, rebound, and a save made by Leblanc. Two, two big saves coming in for the Vitos. That is Cormier. Leblanc will flip the puck in deep to the veto zone. Dag. <laughs> Over to the near side for Richard. Richard gets in. Cedric Bastarache now with the puck for the Coyotes. He'll send it out. Leblanc comes out of his net, leaves it for Dag. Going down to the final 10 seconds of the Vito's power play. Hachet 
on the near side. Gets into the offensive zone, finds Steves at the blue line, cuts to the middle, shot blocker saved by Lebnau. Penalty's over, back at even strength. Sheehan leaves it for Cameron. Puck is sent over the glass and out of play off a Coyote stick. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone. So the Moncton, so the Kent Coyotes were supposed to host the 2020 Don Johnson Cup, but it was pushed back due to COVID. And they were supposed to host last year as well, but that got pushed back. So finally, they get it here and the Coyotes go back to the box. Couple undisciplined calls here. Saunier going to the sin bin for two minutes or less. Second power play for the Vitos. They are 0 for 1 this evening. And they will send once again that number one unit. Watch for number 22, Yannick LeBlanc. He's currently playing at the blue line, but he is a dynamite. He's got a great shot. Oh, cross ice pass, and that's blocked chance here for the Coyotes. That was Samuel Odette trying to bring it up. LeBlanc over to Dunham. Dunham sends it off the backboards, Melanson. Melanson gets it once again. It was off the stick of Chambers. LeBlanc, but he shot, didn't get much on it, but it got to LeBlanc. He makes the save. Chambers, cross ice over to Yannick LeBlanc. Yannick LeBlanc, another cr quick cross ice pass over to Chambers. He couldn't handle the pass. Melanson, back to Chambers. Chambers into the faceoff circle, shot that's blocked in front. Chambers gets it back, trying to saucer it into the slot. Another opportunity here, down low, Dunham trying to go for the give and go with Melanson. Dunham once again. Richard, 55 seconds left on the power play. That puck goes off the boards, Dunham. Down low to Melanson, that puck gets by him. William Book, he gets the rolling puck out of his own zone 200 feet away. And that'll get some fresh legs on the ice. Centering pass, it's intercepted. LeBlanc short-handed, and that's off the glove and wide. Great heads-up opportunity here by Jeremy Leblanc. Popping in. Cedric Bastarache, a floater. One hopper that's gloved away by Leblanc. Dunham. Cedric Bastarache strips it away. He'll send it low again. Good forecheck here by the Kent Coyotes on this penalty kill. Jeremy Casey will send it out as time expires. We're back at even strength. 14-15 left. Yannick Leblanc walks in. Shot saved by Zachary Leblanc. Rebound that goes off the crossbar. Poirier on the wing. Poirier finds Ferguson. Centering pass. That's off the skate. Leblanc had to make the pad save on the right side. Steves. Chips that puck in, deep into the Coyote zone, Trisdel. He'll flip it to center ice. Richard gets by the defender, but rolling puck. It'll get to LeBlanc first, and he'll freeze it with 13.41 left in the first period. Off the draw, bouncing puck. Briefly got to the slot. Jacob Cormier trying to get the puck out of his own zone. He does just barely. Trisdel rifles it back in. Off the boards, Trisdel plays the player. Book trying to go to the middle for Basque. Steves. Off the boards, an opportunity here. 2 on one and a nice slide by Book. Took out the player and the puck. Yeah, yeah. 
And that was Jordan McPhee. Chance here. Josh Broke. Shot save made by LeBlanc. McPhee. Goes cross ice. Cormier. Nice dangle. The shot saved by Zachary LeBlanc. And he'll freeze it. Great up and down action here in this first period. No score with 12.45 left in the first period. Off the draw, they'll send it straight over to the blue line. Cameron can't keep it in. So, uh, they, so the Vitos have to regroup. Melanson gets bumped along the boards by Gould as the puck goes into the Coyotes zone. Putting on the brakes is Arsenault. Kent can't get the puck out of their own zone. Centering pass that goes wide. Leaving Steves all by his lonesome on the near side. Cameron lost the puck at the blue line. Arsenault will bring it up. Odd man rush. Adet plays it along the boards down low. Arsenault into the slot. A couple of Vitos players tip it away. Gould. It's tied up in the corner by Sheehan. Leblanc got a great opportunity shorthanded. That puck is tipped over the glass and out of play. Last touch by a Vitos player. Off the face off, LeBlanc, his wrist shot. That's off of Jérémy LeBlanc, over the glass and out of play. LeBlanc and plays it along the boards, behind the net, Daigle. Daigle gets tied up by Casey, Frederick Casey. Puck is played out. And icing is called against the Vitos. Number 24 for the Coyotes, Francis Robert, a veteran. Been playing his final season in the Coyotes uniform. Been with the organization for the last four years. Played his hockey with the Clément Cormier Cavaliers. His high school hockey. A lot of the players here played former high school. Some of them, you know, played some some midget triple A. We even have one player here playing this evening who ended up playing at a junior A level on a regular basis. And that is Miguel Poirier from the Coyotes who played for the Yarmouth Mariners before coming back home, playing Junior B. Dag behind his own net. Chambers sends it to the neutral zone. Basque circles around. Quick short pass is Bro. Walking in, Sonier, his shot goes way wide. Basque goes to the bench, shot from Bro. Save made by LeBlanc. 9.03 gone by here in the first 20. No score between the Moncton Vitos and the Kent Coyotes. First game of the 2022 Don Johnson Atlantic Junior B Hockey Championships. Face off to the left of LeBlanc. Rolling puck gets by Poirier and it's a two on two. Yannick LeBlanc, low shot pushed away easily by Zachary LeBlanc. Miguel Richard, passed behind the net, intercepted by Yannick LeBlanc, trying to go for the wraparound. Zachary LeBlanc makes the save. Puck is still loose, but Richard gets it. Sends it over to Poirier. He sends it too far for Ferguson, and icing is called against the Coyotes. Face off to the right of LeBlanc. 
Chambers trying to go for the quick one-timer. And here comes Hadi Shaw. Miguel Hadi Shaw trying to thread the needle. He can't. Gets the puck in the corner. Ferguson. Puck is in the skates. Chambers. He'll flip it in, and that goes off the inside of the stick of LeBlanc, and that went wide. That could have been dangerous. Chambers at the blue line. Rolling puck down in the corner, into the slot. Shot that is high over the glass and out of play. They say that puck was last touched by a Coyotes player, so faceoff will be in the Kent zone. about centering pass quick tip by Jayet over to Gould Gould his shot saved by LeBlanc and the rebound slides over puts the glove over the puck now these two teams they've got a lot of animosities they've known each other for a while being rivals in the New Brunswick Junior B League Jayet and McPhee exchange a few words after the whistle. Puck up the middle. Trying to dangle around. It was Jared Steves. Robin for the Coyotes. He'll bring it up. He will not hesitate when he has the opportunity. He dumps it in. LeBlanc. He leaves it for his defensive teammate. McPhee down in the corner. Steves down the wing. Delayed offside against the Vitos. That'll give an opportunity here to put fresh legs on the ice. If the Coyotes get the puck, they'll bring it up. Alexi Mayette sends it to Casey at the blue line. Casey try to go. And a long lead pass. They find Melanson trying to go for the breakaway. The shot, the pass was tipped, and it somehow got onto the stick of Alex Cormier. Richard at center ice. He'll rifle it. Casey gets to the puck first. Bouncing puck to the blue line. Richard shot is blocked. Cedric Pastarache goes to the outside. Chance here for Frederick Casey. Finding Jeremy Casey down low. That shot was off a stick. That'll go to the near side boards. Book, his shot saved by LeBlanc. He'll keep the puck with 8.16 to go in the first. the draw. Book will flip the puck to the back of the net. Galant. Over cross size. Nice quick passes. Bro couldn't get a good shot. Book slows down the pace just a bit. Sonia will send it behind the net. Looking for Bro. Down the middle. Looking for Baskis trying to tip it down low. Centering pass, this time it's intercepted by Steves. Lead cross ice pass, finds Galan. Galan with the wrist shot, saved by LeBlanc. Rebound in front of him, off the glass. Rolling puck, icing is waved off. Brennan Donovan. Well, dangerous pass if there would have been a Coyotes player down low, but Puck has a hard time to get out of the, own, uh, out of the, out of the veto zone. Baba. Plays it hard along the boards, goes down to the back of the net. Donovan trying to chip it. Ferguson pushes it over to the far side. Yannick Leblanc, now it's a foot race. Miguel Richard, Richard, he's got wheels. Leaves it for Ferguson, Ferguson for Poitier, his shot. And Save by LeBlanc.
Clock down to 6.52 left in the first. No score. First game of the 2022 Don Johnson Atlantic Junior B Cup here in Cocaine Arena. Beautiful, beautiful southeast region of New Brunswick. Roger Surrett calling the play-by-play. -play. Glad you can join us here this evening and all tournament long. Chance here, shot. No, that's off the post. Uh, second opportunity, that puck is tipped in the slot. Coyotes pressing. The DeVitos trying to get the puck out of their own zone. They can't. Still along the far side boards, McPhee. Sheehan trying to muscle that puck out, and he does. Arsenault forced to go deep in his own zone. LeBlanc directing traffic, saying to go around the net. Arsenault puck tipped in by the captain, Jayet. Jayette, along with Cameron, they arrive at the puck at the same time in the corner. Cameron, book, that shot goes wide. Lively boards here at the Cocaine Arena. Quick shot that's blocked in front. Second opportunity, and that goes through the blue paint. Vito's will flip the puck in to the Coyote zone, and that's rifled back in by Gould. Short, quick passes here by the Vitos to try to go cross ice now. Coyotes regain control. LeBlanc trying to look for Frederick Casey off the boards. LeBlanc forced to go back behind his own net. Good aggressive forecheck. Three Vitos players in the offensive zone. And Richard chips the puck back in once again. Coyotes, that puck was lost briefly right in front of Zachary LeBlanc. They regain it, but it... Gives the opportunity here for the Vitos to put pressure. Richard looking for Dag. That puck goes out. Now the Vitos have to regroup on a delayed offside. LeBlanc behind his own net. 4.50 to go here in the first. Lee cross ice pass. Looking for KC. He chips it in. Cedric Bastarash is there as well. KC looking for Bastarash, but rolling puck. Doesn't get to him. Goes behind him at the blue line. Arsenault. Bastarash. Puck circles back. It's a Chris Richard. Robert in neutral ice. Short pass. Bringing it up is Sonier. Sonier puts on the brakes at the top of the faceoff circle. Chance here for Robert, who cheats in. Shot saved by LeBlanc. Coyotes keep applying the pressure here. And that's in this second half of the first period. 4.14 left. Off the boards, Alexi Mayet gets to it. Shot gloved easily by Jeremy Leblanc. Rolling puck behind the net. Long lead pass. Yannick Leblanc gets by the defender. And uh, we got a penalty coming up against the Kent Coyotes. And it's going to be a penalty shot. As Leblanc had the right of way. And he got hooked down. Zachary Leblanc made the save. So now we are going to see the most interesting play in hockey. Yannick Leblanc just skating gingerly on that right leg. So Yannick Leblanc against Zachary Leblanc. Yannick Leblanc goes left, slows down, tries to go around, shot, and somehow that puck did not go in. It got stuck on the blade of the stick of Yannick Leblanc. And Zachary LeBlanc seems like he got a poke check in as well. So to keep this game at 0-0 with 3.51 left.
Yannick Leblanc. The shot blocked. Second opportunity by Donovan. Puck is sent into the neutral zone. Galant. Jeremy Leblanc. Coming back into his own zone. Finds Francis Robert. Now the Coyotes up in transition. They love to play the speed game. Ferguson got bumped off the puck. Miguel Poirier on the near side corner. Ferguson. That shot tipped. Rolls wide. Robert. Back in neutral lights for the Coyotes. Leblanc. Back to Robert. Robert. He'll send that puck in. Icing waved off. It was touched by one of the Vitos players. Less than three to go here in the first 20. Got out. Flips the puck in low. Played by Zachary Leblanc. He'll leave it for Gilles Leblanc. Leblanc. Also, Adet is there as well. Chambers tipped that puck with his glove into the Coyotes bench. Faceoff will be in the neutral zone. Gould. Push the puck into the veto zone. Cameron. Cameron trying to push the puck along the boards. Good battle. McPhee comes out with it. Gould tips it down low. Now the Vitals will get it out. Arsenault. Mayette. Good heads up play going left, right. Collision with McPhee in the neutral zone. Both of them didn't move, but Mayette lost the puck in the process. Arsenault. Lead pass, looking for a debt that's blocked. An opportunity here for the Vitos, McPhee. To the back of the net, Steves. Also Alex. Also Jacob Cormier. Adet with the collision on Jack Cameron. Adet gets the puck. Tristel can't keep it in. Coyotes regroup. They'll send it in deep. They'll put fresh legs on the ice here with 125. Left in the first. Cameron. Trisdell. Short pass. Melanson. He'll look for Haché in the slot. Haché looking for Cormier. That puck is tipped away. Trisdell. Daigle. Haché. Centering pass that's uh, chipped away by Casey. Melanson. Back in pass. Down to the last minute. Jeremy Casey. He'll send the puck in deep. That's played by LeBlanc. Richard. Puck still down low. Chance here for the, for the Coyotes on a rolling puck. But just couldn't capitalize. 30 seconds left. Puck is still in the veto zone. Rabat fakes the shot. Leblanc looking for an opening. Shot is blocked by Melanson. Rabat. He'll bring it in. Quick snapshot. And a save made by Leblanc. Puts it down, but he'll keep it in the glove with 14.2 seconds left in the first. Off the draw, Robert. Quick shot that's blocked in front by his teammate. Try to regain control. Basquez tied up, gets it back. Leaves it for Leblanc. His shot is high as time expires on a fast-paced first period. No goals are on the board. 20 minutes gone by in this first game of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. No score between the Kent Coyotes and the Moncton Vitos. Kent Coyotes, 14 for the Junior Vitos, 16. 
shots on goal after the first period, 16-14 in favor of the Moncton Vitos. We will be back in a few moments with second period action coming up here at the Cocaine Arena. First game of the Don Johnson Junior B Atlantic Championships. No score between the Moncton Vitos and the Kent Coyotes. Run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck. You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's Donair to go for the good food. <coughs> when the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the Donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's Worry Paw in the pita right there. Get some more Worry Paw feeling with Vieno Insurance. Visit GoVieno.com. Worry Paw.
just about to get ready for the start of the second period here at the Cocaine Arena. Both New Brunswick representatives uh, have not found the back of the net after 20 minutes of play. Moncton Vitos uh, do lead the shots on goals after the first frame, 16-14. Roger Surrett calling the play-by-play. -play. Glad you can join us here this weekend, uh, this week, tonight, this week, and all weekend long. Going down, accumulating to the championship game on Sunday afternoon, the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. Dunham, Dag, cross ice pass, that's tipped away. They'll get to the near side, LeBlanc. To Gallant, pass too far for, we're looking for Cameron. Coyotes will bring it up on the rush. Oh, sneaking through here, chance. LeBlanc, Robert sends it over to the blue line. That shot high off the glass, and that'll go out of play. Face off in the Vito's zone. Last touch by a Vito's defender. Off the draw, quick shot that's blocked by McPhee. Over to the near side, Drizdel. Around the boards, Poitier can't play the puck, McPhee. Bouncing puck into the neutral zone, Richard. Chipped in by Ferguson. Ferguson down low. Trying to find Richard into the face-off circle, but McPhee, McPhee gets bumped from behind by Poitier. Drizdel sends a cross ice over to Arsenault, his shot was blocked, and now an opportunity, bouncing puck. Steves couldn't put it down. Into neutral ice, Richard. Drisdel, Drisdel. Sends the puck in deep. Vitos, they'll rifle the puck out immediately. Mayette circles over to Adet at center ice. Jayette, cross ice over to Poitier. Poitier plays it off the boards. Looks for an opening, gets it, shot glove save by LeBlanc. With 1.45 gone by in the second period. Face off one clean by Haché, but Mayet keeps the puck at the blue line. He'll send it around the boards. Kept in by Arsenault. Jayet back to Arsenault. He'll try to bring it up to the blue line. Backhand pass. Jayet fans on the pass. Trying to send it into the slot. Now the Coyotes trying to play the cycle game. That's off the skate of Odette. And now a breakaway here. Haché shot. That's high. And Zachary Leblanc was a bit off balance. Was caught off guard and somehow Lips gets up slowly. And the shot goes over the glass and out of play off a Vito's stick. Zachary LeBlanc just going through the motions, see if everything's okay. Playing on your heels. Falling down from the back can really do a job on those hamstrings and groins. So luckily, Zachary LeBlanc is okay. Puck goes into deep into the Coyote zone. Icing is called against the Vitos. Face off once again in the Vito zone. Puck sent to the corner. Frederick Casey trying to chip it from the back of the net. Puck is stripped away here. Alexandre Casey for a bad angle shot. Pushing forward as Jeremy Leblanc making the save. And keeps the puck in the glove. Great crowd here this evening. 
Both teams are from southeastern New Brunswick, well represented. And also glad for everyone that is joining us this evening on our webcast and all the games that we'll be streaming live. You can go to the Don Johnson website, Don Johnson Cup website, quick shot saved by LeBlanc. Sonier, good shot, uh, good shot from the face-off circle. Mayet, quick dog, oh, that puck was tipped off his skate and that went wide. LeBlanc was going to his right, that puck went left. Mayet in his own zone. Long lead pass, nobody's there, but that gets to LeBlanc. Play continues, Basque can't keep the puck in the offensive zone and here comes the vetoes quickly in transition. That top line of Dunham, Chambers, and Yannick LeBlanc, very dangerous. Dunham, that quick shot, that's blocked by Arsenault. And we got a penalty coming up. And that'll be Chambers going to the box. And they'll call a trip. First power play of the night for the Coyotes. Robin goes to the near side for Bas. Bas cross size, bouncing puck. Poitier was there, got a shot, but didn't get much on it. Coyotes can't keep the puck in the offensive zone. Robin and coming out deep was LeBlanc. Robin. Flips it over to the near side. Basque plays it off his skate. He'll bring it up. Basque circles back, puts on the brakes. Basque still in control of that puck. Poirier back to Basque along the near side boards. Rabau, he'll quarterback this power play. Quick pass over to Basque from the faceoff circle. That shot is blocked, gets straight to Rabau. His shot, save, rebound. Backhand shot by Deschamps goes over the net. Looks like it went off the glove of LeBlanc. Robert. Robert sees an opening. His shot that's off of a stick of a Vito's player. Ferguson circles around. His shot that's blocked. Long rebound. Robert pass a little too high for Richard. Jayette keeps the puck in the offensive zone. 44 seconds left on the Coyotes' power play, and the Vito's will get the puck out of their own zone. And a chance here, short-handed, that shot is high. Good opportunity off the rush. That was number 82, Jacob Cormier. Jayette. Finds Saunier. Saunier, Chambers keeping a close eye on him. That puck is tipped over the glass and out of play. Off, a, off the stick of a Vito's player. 14-31 left in the second period. 18 seconds left in the Coyotes power play. A couple good opportunities here for Kent. Just can't find the back of the net behind LeBlanc. Both LeBlancs have been stellar in goal this evening. Zachary LeBlanc comes out of his net. Quick pass and it's a bad one and a short-handed tally. That is Alex Melanson. Finding the twine, and what is this? A cross check to Melanson after the goal, and now that is going to invite everybody into that skirmish. There's uh, Jeremy Jaillet going with the cross check to Melanson right at the chin. And we got Josh, Josh Pro, who's also involved in that fray. So Bro is out. Cornier is brought to the bench. As Alex Melanson is still on his hands and knees on the ice. It's 
So Alex Menonson will go to the dressing room to get checked out. And so it wasn't Jair with the cross check, it was Joshua Bro, number 20. And he is out of the game. So the officials are gonna get all of this settled out. But it is one nothing for the Moncton Vitos. Alex Melanson with a short-handed goal. And then got cross-checked into the face after the fray. A good five to eight seconds after the goal. So they're going to give a two-minute minor to the player from the Moncton Vitos. Trying to see, I think it's number 11. Alex Cormier. He'll be in the box for two minutes. And Joshua Bro will serve, will get a five-minute major and a game misconduct. So it is going to be a four on three power play for nine seconds. And then we'll go to four on four for 151. And then after that, the Beatles will go on a power play. Richard. So back to four, four on four. Robert, his shot. Save made by LeBlanc. Ferguson. Robert. Back to Ferguson. Ferguson. Finds it all bad in the slot. That puck is tipped away by Dunham. Ferguson. Circles up. Braba on the near side. Shot. That's off of Richard. And that goes wide. And the Vitos in transition. Bring up the puck. Richard. Ferguson. Braba on the rush. Rabat, his shot off of Dag the stick and over the glass and out of play. So it'll be a match penalty. So not just a game misconduct, but a match penalty given to Joshua Bro for cross-checking on Alex Melanson, a two-minute minor, to Alex Cormier for roughing. So that'll be looked at by the officials at the end of this game to see if Bro will get further discipline in this tournament. Arsenault. 45 seconds left in the four on four. Casey on the near side. Jeremy Casey shot just wide, poked away by Leblanc. Casey takes the rebound. He'll try to send it into the slot. It gets to the blue line. Book that's off the boards. Poitier. Poirier sends that puck high over the glass and out of play. Poirier saying that it was touched by a Vitos player. And he won. His case was won. Faceoff will be to the left of Jeremy Leblanc. 19 seconds to go in the four on four. 12.40 left in the second period, Robert, his shot that goes wide. Trisdel, 
Keeps the puck into the offensive zone. Drisdel. Crosses up, shot, save made by LeBlanc. Beatles will bring it up as the penalty expires. Three minute power play for the Vitos. Basque over to Sonier. Sonier sends it back. Robert in his own zone over to Sonier. They're gonna get some time off this off of this shorthanded opportunity here for the Coyotes. Basque circles behind the net, try to get the puck. Chambers. Looking for Yannick Leblanc, puck stripped away and sent back into the Vito zone off the stick of Alexis Mayet. Over to the near side, Chambers. Chambers, Dunham and Leblanc on the ice. Dag has taken Melanson's spot. Dag is playing the blue line while Leblanc is going up front. Now it's a two-on-one break here, shorthanded. Odette, he has Jaillet, shot, glove, save Leblanc. Leblanc just flashes the leather. Great glove save shorthanded on a two-on-one with 159 left on the major penalty by Joshua Bro. Cormier. Donovan. Sends it over to the far side to Galant. Gallant looking for Donovan. That puck is tipped and chipped out by Jeremy Casey. Cedric Pastarache with a full head of steam couldn't get to the puck. Casey keeps the puck in. Make sure that Pastarache gets out. Pastarache on the forecheck puts on the brakes. He'll back up. He'll let Donovan cross ice. I'm trying to find Jared Steves. And the Coyotes send the puck out once again. 110 left in the Vito's power play. Galant. Gloved. Zachary Leblanc plays the puck. That's tipped off a high stick of Basque. Dagle in his own zone over the Steves. Coyotes get control and they'll send it out once again. Leblanc had to play it off his stick. Galant. Lead pass over to Daigle. Leblanc. Dunham. With the puck along the boards. Leblanc centering pass. Looking for Daigle. Was cheating in. Puck is tipped over the glass and out of play. 9.44 left in the second period. 22 seconds left in the Joshua Bro Major. Sonier. Arsenault. Puck too far for Book. Daigle, centering pass, it's off his skate, it gets to Richard at the blue line. Penalty is over, we're back at five on five here with 9.20 to go. Leblanc behind the net, finds Daigle. Richard. Daigle at the blue line, his shot that's off the outside of the net. Coyotes will flip the puck into neutral ice, Chambers. Finds Dunham down the middle. Chance here, that puck is still loose up front. Dunham. Donovan. Battle for the puck. 
And Ferguson trying to get by the defender. He gets tied up briefly. Eddie Shaw, Ferguson at the blue line, takes a, a wild shot that's off the hand of Eddie Shaw. Coyotes in the offensive zone. Mayette, quick shot by Ravard and the glove save by LeBlanc with 8.21 to go here in this middle frame. Lone goal scorer Alex Melançon, short-handed on a bad giveaway by Zachary LeBlanc. But there was a skirmish after the play where Joshua Bro cross-checked Alex Melançon in the mouth for those who have just joined us. They got a five-minute major, but the Vitos could not capitalize. So this game is still at 1-0 for the Moncton Vitos. Both New Brunswick representatives here playing at their round, their first round-robin game of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. And that is a checking from behind here. And Poitier and animosities continue here as Poitier charged in after that McPhee. Not a little checking from behind. Let's see if cooler heads are going to prevail here. But Richard has certainly his numbers shown to McPhee, and McPhee gave him the business. So, so it's going to be coincidental minors here. McPhee for boarding, and Poitier for cross check. Still playing five on five hockey with 8.04 to go. These, team, these two teams have seen each other plenty of times over the last years, and believe me, it is a always a simmering boil between these two that can certainly heat up quickly. Off the glass, rolling puck will get to Zachary LeBlanc, and LeBlanc will just put it back of the net. <laughs> Putting on the brakes is Godet, and shot glove saved by LeBlanc. Lead pass, trying to go look for Odette. Cormier, we got another penalty coming up here. Jaye. Got put down from behind, and she and will go to the box, and this will be a power play opportunity for the Vitos. And for the, for the Coyotes, excuse me, with 7.28 to go. Tempers are starting to flare here on both sides as we're seeing a lot of undisciplined calls, uh, undisciplined penalties. Robert finds Ferguson. Ferguson back to Robert. Robert, his wrist shot, and it's a glove by LeBlanc. And this is where but Joshua Bro would be very important for the Coyotes. He was their top point getter during the regular season. Rabat. Quick passes here. Sonier. Rabat. Back to Sonier. Sonier doesn't see an opening. Goes to Rabat once again. Ferguson shot. Save LeBlanc. But you got a bevy of bodies in front of the Vito's netminder. Ferguson has to go back into his own zone. Saunier tips it to Rabat. Rabat will bring it in. Saunier back to Rabat. Ferguson. Jayet. Ferguson once again. 
Robert, Robert, looking for some options, finds Ferguson, his shot, and a save by LeBlanc as Gould. And Dunham, a little bit of pushing just before the whistle. Cooler heads here prevail. 6.30 left in the second period, 102 left in the Sheehan minor. Leblanc, Mayet, pass, not hard enough, but gets to Leblanc, but in the neutral zone, Basque brings the puck into the offensive zone once again, Richard looking for Basque on the give and go, but the Vitos will get the puck out of their own zone. Leblanc puts on the brakes. Leblanc had a great opportunity to score in the first period, shorthanded, just couldn't find the back of the net. None of these Coyote players have solved the puzzle. That is Jimmy Deville. And somehow on a bouncing puck, it's tipped off the stick of Jimmy KC. And it goes in. Power play tally, and we are tied at one. Drisdell off the draw. Hook back to Drisdell. Drisdell, this pass that goes off the skate of Sonia and a chance here. Dunham, Dunham on the break. Shot saved by Leblanc. Rebound, that puck is high and wide. Bad angle shot, but Leblanc was in a vulnerable position. And now KC loses the puck near the blue line. Drisdell chips the puck at center ice. Dunham. To Galant. Coyotes in transition. Basque on the near side gets by the defender. Shot saved by LeBlanc. He'll keep the puck in the chest. Off the draw. That was to the right of Leblanc. Adette. Gould has it in front. Shot. And Leblanc makes the save on a beauty. He's just sliding to his left. Gould was all by his lonesome. Stripped the puck away in the slot. Just in front of the goal mount. Just trying to find an opening. And Leblanc comes up big. The blue line kept in. Pass way too far for Mayet. Mayet. Now it's an opportunity here. The shot saved by LeBlanc. Great op opportunity here for the Vitos. They put two guys in the neutral zone, forcing Mayet to play those defenders if there would have been a breakout pass. And that's exactly what happened is that puck on the cross ice. Maya had to cheat in into the offensive zone to try to play. The puck was too far for him. And then they center it down and became a two on O break. Pit got the shot. Save made by LeBlanc. Richard. And Richard gets hammered in the open ice by Sheehan. Sheehan loves to play the body. Richard. Robin. Ferguson. Leblanc. Puck is stripped away. A chance here. Pitt. Another opportunity. His shot that goes high. That's tipped off the glove of Leblanc. And goes over the glass and out of play. 419 left. And Nicolas Pitre has had two breakaway opportunities in the last 30 seconds. Just can't find the back of the net.
McPhee trying to push the puck off the draw towards LeBlanc. Dagler, quick wrist shot at the blue line. Chance here. That shot goes wide. Jacob Cormier, the least shot over to Dag. Down in the slot. That puck is tipped away. It'll get over to the near side boards. Cormier. Tristel. Trying to angle his way into to try to get the puck. Dagle. Centering pass. Trying to find McPhee. That goes off his stick. McPhee. Sprawls to the ice. Dagle. Richard. Cormier. Steves. Dag shot, that's tipped in front. LeBlanc makes the save. Sees the puck, puts the glove over with 3.31 to go. And a skirmish here again in front of the, in front of the Coyotes goal. McPhee involved. Putting traffic in in front. Gonna certainly invite the neighborhood. Face off is to the right of Zachary Leblanc. Adet ties it up along the boards. He got Donovan who's trying to strip it away. Vito still in uh, the Coyote still in control. Jayet at center ice, rolling puck finds Adet. Adet had a hard time playing the puck, and here comes the Vitos. It's Dunham. Puck tipped away at the blue line. Chambers. He'll flip it in deep to the Kent, Kent zone with three minutes to go here in this middle 20. Mayet. Arsenault. Goes behind the net. Pierre-Luc Arsenault. Mayet. Cross ice. Odette. Jayette two on one. And a great defensive play. That was Brennan Donovan just sprawling down, blocking the pass. Mayette flips the puck into the veto zone. Galant couldn't get the puck out. Galant sprawls. Chance here. Rolling puck. Jaillet in front. LeBlanc puts the glove on it. Off the draw, quick shot, stick saved by LeBlanc. Casey, goal scorer for the Coyotes, sends the puck in deep. Vitos, he'll play it off the glass at center ice. Played by LeBlanc, Haché. Sheehan. Lead cross ice pass, that's blocked by Basque. Yannick Godin. Coyotes will get the puck once again out of their own zone and icing will be called against the Kent Coyotes with 1.42 to go here in the second period. The draw, quick shot. That went wide. That's off the stick of Alex Cormier. And now the Coyotes in transition. Rabat will bring it up on the rush. Rabat goes down low, circles the net. Rabat still has options. Book his shot. Glove saved by LeBlanc. He stretched out forward with the with the glove hand to snatch the puck in midair. The draw, book, shot that goes wide. Ferguson in the slot. Richard shot, save LeBlanc. He wasn't quite sure where that puck was. 
and had to take a quick peek over his right shoulder. Faceoff will be to the right of LeBlanc. Jayet gets chased out of the faceoff circle. Gould will take his spot with Dunham trying to tie him up. Gould. Book shot is blocked. Puck played off the boards. The Vito's trying to go for that break pass once again. Book along the boards down to the last minute here in this second period. Dunham. Trisdel keeps the puck in. Trisdel goes down low. That pass is blocked. Leblanc for the Vitos. Lee cross ice pass. That's too far for Daigle. And the, the Coyotes is just trying to get the puck out. That shot scores. Yannick Leblanc goes over the left shoulder of Zachary Leblanc. 36.2 seconds left here in the second period. And the Vitos are now up 2-1. to one. Yannick Leblanc, a dangerous hockey player with the puck on his stick. Started everything off with that long cross ice pass looking for Daigle too far. Daigle had an opportunity to keep that puck in and that created just enough havoc. And Leblanc, left by himself in front of the goal mouth, went top shelf, glove side over the shoulder of Leblanc. Take a 2-1 lead, and we've got a penalty coming up off the draw. And Frédéric Casey will go to the sin bin here. 32.6 seconds left, and the call will be for roughing. Vitos can widen the gap here with the man advantage. Push the puck straight to the net. Now at the blue line. Galant had a hard time playing the puck, but he gets it down low. McPhee. Over to Donovan. Donovan. Galant. Galant, quick shot. Save made by LeBlanc. Rebound. Still in control. That's uh, Jacob Cormier. Donovan, less than 10 seconds to go. Cormier. Try to go for McPhee down low. Bouncing puck. Donovan. Galant. Can he make a shot? No, he can't. He'll just send it to the corner as time expires here. 40 minutes gone by at the Cocan Arena. Both teams have scored in this middle frame. The Kent Coyotes got one on a shorthand on a power play tally by Jeremy Casey. But we've got. Alex Melançon shorthanded and Yannick Leblanc on the power play to put this game up 2-1 to one for the Moncton Vitos against the Kent Coyotes. We are going to take a short break with third period action coming up here shortly at the Cocan Arena once again. 40 minutes gone by in this first game of the round robin portion of the Don Johnson Cup. 2-1 to one for the Moncton Vitos against the Kent Coyotes.
Remember when everyone was going out west, run away from the girlfriend, chase the job and the big buck? You could not blame them. But you know why they always come back? Donair. Out west, there's donair to go for the good food. When the plane landed at Aeroport Romeo, you could almost smell the donair in the hair. Just crave that mystery meat with the sweet, sweet sauce. The first bite after you come home, that's worry paw in the pita right there. Get some more worry paw feeling with Vieno Insurance. Visit govieno.com. Worry paw.
Just about to get ready for the start of the third period here at the Cocaine Arena. We've got points up on the scoreboard after 40 minutes of play. The Moncton Vitos lead 2-1 to one in this first game of the round robin portion of the 2022 Don Johnson Cup. Roger Surrett calling the play-by-play. -play. Glad you can join us with some of the finest Junior B hockey action in Atlantic Canada. The Moncton Vitos are on the power play to start the third period. And they have that 2-1 lead in that first power play unit. Alex Melanson is back on the ice after suffering a cross check to the mouth area after scoring the first goal of the game. So this is his first shift back. Ready Shaw. Leaves it for Chambers. Chamber, Chambers in the zone. In the centering pass over to Donovan. The puck was tipped away. Puck is stripped and sent out by Basque. 
30 seconds to go on the Vito's man advantage. Richard gets in the zone, gets by Cedric Pastarach. That pass hits the outside of the net, goes to the far side corner. Mayette flips the puck high and that goes off with one of the lights here at the arena. So our first full day action will be tomorrow afternoon as uh, the representatives uh, from uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, the Mount Pearl Junior Blades will face uh, the, A the AS Scrap, Metro, uh, Scrap Metal Metros uh, from Sherwood from PEI. That game will be at 12 o'clock and that will be streaming live as well. The Moncton Vitals will be playing at 4 o'clock against the Antigonish Bulldogs, the champions from Nova Scotia. And the Kent Coyotes will be back on the ice at 7.30 as the Metros will be back on the ice for their second game of the day. So we got full day action here at the Don Johnson Cup tomorrow. And that'll start at 12 o'clock, 12.30 in Newfoundland. Hope you can join us streaming live. You can go to the website at the djcup.ca. Face off in the neutral zone. Rabat. Over to Poirier. Poirier, his shot is high off the glass. Chance here. Leblanc, quick pass to the middle. Jayet, bad angle shot. Ferguson, and a save made. We got a penalty coming up. The call is for roughing. And the... Ken Coyotes will go on the power play as McPhee gets the call for a rough. With 2.06 gone by. Rabat, his shot is blocked. Bouncing puck gets to Casey. And a bouncing puck into the glove of LeBlanc. Jeremy Casey, the lone goal scorer for the Coyotes. Got the goal with the man advantage. Casey. Over to the far side. Rabat. Back to Casey. Casey fans on the pass and an opportunity here for the Vitos. Bringing up the puck is Cormier. He gets tied up by Rabat. Rabat gets the pass from Saunier. Gets into the offensive zone. Rabat. Down low, Jayet. Jayet goes for the bad angle shot and a save made by LeBlanc. Off the draw, Poirier shot. That was tipped, went wide. Leblanc, Ferguson, Richard circles around that shot. Off the backboards, Haché plays it off the boards, deep into the Coyote zone. Chance here for Alex Melançon. Another opportunity, shorthanded, but this time that puck was blocked by Jeremy Leblanc. Poirier, his shot, save, rebound. That puck is still loose. And the Vitos can't get it out. LeBlanc. Basque, his shot is high. Ferguson. Basque over to Poirier. Poirier tees it up. And that shot was blocked by Melançon. And he's slow to get up, and he'll go to the bench. Daigle sends that puck in deep. Chance here, Dunham shot, save LeBlanc. Lively boards here tonight. Galant, centering pass is tipped by Jayet. Alexis Mayet. 
Kibbutz on the break, slows things down here. 13 seconds to go. Last rush for the Coyotes. Rabat gets through the defenders, trying to go around on the sweep. But LeBlanc, too wide, made the save. Odette gets pushed off the puck as the penalty expires. We're back at even strength. Lead pass. Yannick LeBlanc tried to get through the defenders. Gets the puck down low. Adet. Jayet. Mayet behind the net. Over to the far side, Adet. Adet back in the corner. Jayet lets it go by for Book. Jayet. Alexis Mayet. Jeremy Jayet. Out of position, falls to the ice, loses the puck in the process. Chambers. Chambers just sends the puck in down to the corner. Fresh legs on the ice for the Vitos. 14.55 left in the third period. 2-1 is your score in favor of the Moncton Vitos. Sheehan. Coyotes back in control. Lead pass along the boards that's kept by Sheehan. Cedric Pastarache down the near side. Putting on the braces, Cameron. Coyotes back in control in the offensive zone. Trisdel. McFeet. Sheehan on the near side, try to get the puck out. He can't. Needs the help of Cormier. Arsenault goes cross ice, finds Trisdel, who just sends it in around the boards. Coyotes go on the line change. Frederick Casey. Casey still in control. He looked that closely by Sheehan. Sheehan's been on the ice a long time. Leblanc. His shot goes off a stick. McPhee behind the net. Chipped out in neutral ice, Robert. Leblanc. Leblanc. Jayet. Coyotes just tried to get the Vito's surprise on a line change, but Jayet couldn't handle the pass on a rolling puck. 13.28 to go. Just a, reminder, just a reminder tomorrow's next game at 12 noon as Mount Pearl, the representatives of Newfoundland and Labrador, will play against the AS. Scrap Metros. Team from Sherwood, representatives of Prince Edward Island. Lead pass, icing called. Fans on the shot, another opportunity. That was Richard that got a stick on it. Richard sends it over the glass and out of play. Faceoff will be once again in the veto zone. Face off to the right of Leblanc. Bouncing puck in the slot. Chance here for Poirier. Jeremy Leblanc makes the save. In neutral ice, Book. He'll just rifle the puck once again into the veto zone. But that bounce off the corner. Quick pass. Richard. Richard. Back pass. Ferguson was just going to the net. A little miscommunication. Vito's in transition. Leblanc lost the puck in the process. Turning around is Mayet. Mayet over to Poirier on the near side. Poirier chips it along the boards down low. Chambers for the Vito's. 
His pass is intercepted by Odette. Odette at the blue line. He'll send it from far. Poked away by LeBlanc. Richard down low looking for Poirier. Odette was there as well. That was tipped away. We pass over to Rabat. Up high. His pass down low. Goes in between the legs of his teammate. Rabat. This, pa this time looking for Jeremy LeBlanc. Gould walks in, goes to the outside, Gould sends it down the middle. Chance here for the Coyotes, but that puck just got out in time and 200 feet away. Icing called against the Vitos. McPhee for the Vitos. In the neutral zone, LeBlanc. LeBlanc looked at closely by Cornier. In neutral ice, Godin trying to push that puck higher up. Rabau. Rabau walks in. Adet back to Rabau. Rabat finds Trisdel, who came off the bench. And a shot by Chayes, save LeBlanc, and he'll keep the puck. Face off once again in the veto zone. Chance here, Basque trying to push that puck in. LeBlanc made the save and made sure that puck stays out. Face off this time will be to the right of LeBlanc. Basque. Trying to go around the net. He gets stopped. Vito's in control. Lead pass. Looking for Melanson. That puck was tipped with a high stick. Melanson gets stripped away. Coyotes. Trying to bring it up in transition. Basque couldn't handle the puck off the pass of Saunier. Bastarash couldn't keep it in the offensive zone. Haché putting pressure. Delayed offside against the Vitos. Melanson who got things going here with a shorthanded tally in the second period. Arsenault. Own cross ice looking for Richard. Poirier. LeBlanc slows things down in the offensive zone. Ferguson charges in, pushes him away, but that puck goes over to the far side. Chambers can't play the puck. Coyotes in control. They trail by one with 9.30 left in the third period. Richard trying to get around the defender. Centering pass. Ferguson could put the stick down. Mayette takes a peek over his shoulder, seeing Chambers coming in quickly. Ready shot. Shot from 100 feet away. Played by Yannick, uh, by Zachary Leblanc. Poirier. Over now, two on one shot, save, bouncing puck, rebound, and we got a penalty coming up. As Ferguson was tripped in front of the goal mouth, as he had an opportunity on a wide open net.
McPhee's going to get the call for the second time this period. He's going to the box. So a power play opportunity with 8.53 left for the Coyotes. Trying to get the equalizer here for this first night of the Don Johnson Cup. All your points are important. Top four teams will get to the semifinals on Saturday. Winners of those semifinals will get to the championship game on Sunday. Down low. Coyotes trying to get something going here. Sonia circling around. Sonia still in control of the puck. Sends it over to KC. KC down low. That puck was tipped. That bounced over the stick of Gould. Gould. His shot saved LeBlanc. Jayet. Sonia. KC. Robert. Quick pass over. Sonia couldn't play it. Jaya has it. The captain. Casey. He's got the power play marker. Pad save. He'll keep the puck. 8.03 left now in the third. 1.10 to go in the Coyote power play. Off the draw. Ferguson finds LeBlanc. Cross ice over. Basque mishandles the puck, but it still gets down low somehow. Backhand shot by Poirier. Save made by LeBlanc. That quick pass from LeBlanc certainly opened the door for Basque. He just couldn't handle the puck properly to get a good shot, but still made the pass down low for Poirier to get a backhander on to Jeremy LeBlanc, who's been extremely solid here tonight for the vetoes. LeBlanc. Coyotes regrouping in neutral ice. LeBlanc. He'll bring it up over to the far side. Gets by one. Slows down the play down in the corner. Ferguson has taken his spot at the blue line. Ferguson. Ferguson gets by one. Gets tripped up. No call. Puck stays in the offensive zone. LeBlanc. Over to Richard. The shot. Save. Rebound. Scores! Miguel Poirier somehow finds a hole on the rebound and just chips it in the back of the net. Second power play marker for the Coyotes, and we are tied up at two. Miguel Poirier with that power play tally ties this game up. And now the Coyotes still putting on some pressure. Jayet, Gould, Arsenault will play it along the boards. That goes by Odette. Jayet is there at the blue line. It's chipped by Mayet, but the Vitals will get it out of their own zone. Calon on that high floating pass. Centering pass down in front. Adet, rolling puck, puts it down. Finds Jeremy Jayet. Jayet. Gould. Wrist shot goes wide. Long bounce off the boards. McPhee deep in his own zone. 6.22 to go. Tied at two. Arsenault looking for Gould. Finds him. Shot blocked. And getting in front of that puck was uh, Brennan Donovan. Basque gets muscled off the puck. Vitos will bring it up. That's Dunham. 
LeBlanc looking for Dunham who was going down low. Bouncing puck once again, this time Bosk tipped by Cameron. Goes cross ice and that's offside called against the Coyotes. Action starts once again here. First full day of the Don Johnson Cup at the Cocan Arena. Tomorrow afternoon, 12 p.m., 12.30 Newfoundland as uh, the representatives from Newfoundland, Mount Pearl Blades, uh, will face uh, the Sherwood AS Scrap Metal Metros tomorrow afternoon. Chance here, Poitier shot that hits the side, that hits the side of the net. Puck is still loose this time. It is Ferguson behind the goal. He was trying to push it along the boards in the corner. Chip to the blue line, Robert shot, save LeBlanc. So that game is at 12 o'clock, 12.30 Newfoundland. And in the second game of our triple header, the Moncton Vitos will be back on the ice for the second time in the tournament as they will face the representatives from Nova Scotia, the Antigonish Bulldogs. And the Kent Coyotes will face the Metros from PEI tomorrow night at 7.30. And all games will be live and we will be here all week till Championship Sunday. That game will be at 1 p.m. on Sunday, May the 1st, 1.30 Newfoundland, and hope you can join us all week long for some great Junior B hockey. Ferguson. Robert. LeBlanc. His shot that's tipped off the crossbar. Vitos will chip it out. Icing is waved off. LeBlanc will play the puck. Find Jeremy LeBlanc. Francis Robert. Saunier. Odette. In neutral ice. Gould. Gould. Walks in. He's looked at closely. Gould still in control of the puck in the corner. He's got options. That goes off the skate of Arsenault in the near side. Rolling puck into the neutral zone. Gould. Mayet over to Arsenault. Mayet. The Vitos backing up. It's Brennan Donovan. Arsenault to Odette. Odette chips the puck off the boards into the Vito zone. McPhee. Puck is high up, Cormier can't play it. Arsenault will bring it in, wrist shot. Didn't get much on it, and kind of a sandwich in the slot. A couple of Coyotes players and a Vito player collide. Lead pass, Cormier takes his time. Finds Jared Steves, McPhee. Centering pass poked away by LeBlanc. Up top, Cormier, Cameron, Sheehan, Sheehan, not much for one to rush, but he'll bring it down low with a shot, and a save made by uh, Zachary Leblon, and he'll keep it with 3.06 left in the third. Top line for the Vitos on the ice. LeBlanc shot that rolls wide. Sonier. Tipped off the stick of Bastarache. Robert on the rush. Takes the puck in the offensive zone. Francis Robert. Robert shot that goes wide. Bouncing puck. Basque. Sonier. He strips it away in the slot, trying to get another opportunity. And we got a stoppage in play here as the net's been dislodged. But a great opportunity by Sonny, who got by the goaltender and also the defender and had a wide open net. But the net got off its moorings. 2.34 left now. A 
Off the draw. Quick shot. That's Poitier. That puck rolls wide. Dag. Dag using the muscle to push away Ferguson. In the neutral zone. Cormier. Richard with the puck once again. He'll play it off the boards and goes in between the legs of Book. Poitier is there to cover. Two players from the Vitos surrounding Poitier who got the equalizer on the power play. Quick shot, tipped, and LeBlanc. Big save. Sliding to his right and catching it just underneath his left arm. Robau. Leblanc. Jaillet finds Gould, rolling puck. Leblanc once again slows things down at center ice. Robau. Vitos make a quick line change here to put Yannick Leblanc on. Odette. Puck back into the Coyote zone, Rabao. Gets things going once again for the Coyotes, Rabao. Puck gets poked away. Rabao gets it back with 1.10 left. Rabao. Good forecheck here. The Vitos are making sure that nobody gets into, into their zone, but that puck's flipped in and kept by LeBlanc. Face off will be in the veto zone. 62 seconds left in regulation. Quick shot, save made by LeBlanc. Rebound goes to the corner. Chance here, Basque. Dangles it, shot saved LeBlanc. Here in the final minute of this third, Mayet. Galant. Lead pass of finding Yannick LeBlanc. LeBlanc. His shot saved made by Zachary LeBlanc. Long rebound. Basque. Now it's a foot race. Who's going to get to the puck first? Donovan gets there, but Bas strips it away. Bas goes down. On a sprawl by a sprawling Donovan, no call. That's a good call by the official. Quick shot and a save made by LeBlanc with 12.7 seconds left in the third. Puck is flipped into the neutral zone. Bouncing puck goes in front of Daigle. Richard, quick shot as time expires here in the third period. So we're gonna be playing a three on three for five minutes. So that is the format for the round robin portion of this tournament. So if after five minutes it's still tied, we will go to a shootout. Great game we've, sat, we've had here so far. Two, three goals scored in the second period, Yannick Melançon. Got things going for the Vitos shorthanded. And Jeremy Casey got a power play tally to tie things up at one. But in the final minute of the second period, Yannick Leblanc found the net to make it two to one after 40 minutes. But in the third period, 
on the second power play of the game for the Coyotes. Miguel Poirier got the rebound and put it basically in the only place where it could fit. Short side, squeezed it in to tie the game at two. And we are going to see a lot of open ice and a lot of speed here, ladies and gentlemen. Three on three for five minutes. So the Coyotes elect to start off with two defensemen, but Francis Robert, he's got wheels. So he got the puck, tried to make a pass at the blue line. So now a one-on-one -on -one break. Puck is stripped away off the stick of Dunham. Ferguson circles behind the net. Alex Ferguson, the former Moncton Flyer. Ferguson trying to go dangle a little dipsy do. Lost the puck, fell on the ice in the process. Betty Shaw. Along the boards, over to Dunham. Dunham. Jeremy Leblanc. That's a close eye on him. Dunham behind the net. Leblanc sprawls to the ice, pushes the puck away. Leblanc. Robert. Slowing down the play just a bit. Making sure you got fresh legs on the ice. And you got Sonier. He'll circle around in his own zone. Sonier. Richard. Richard. Fans on the shot. Try to go around the defender. Alex Galant. Yannick Leblanc. Leblanc. Gets around, Sonier muscles himself around. Couldn't get a shot, but great individual effort by, v by the veto player. Richard on a high pass. Richard circles the net. Richard shot, tip, goes wide. Basque was there, couldn't tip it in. Gets control. Basque forced to go into neutral ice. With Rab has Rabat. Rabat circles around, looking for an opening. Slows down at the blue line. Rabat, nice spin move to get around. Melanson. Rabat still in control of the puck. Two minutes gone by here in this overtime period. Looking for Basque, but that pass was tipped away by Melanson. Melanson behind his own net for the Vitos. Finds Donovan on the outside. Mayette. Catches up to him, Donovan. Lost the puck. It's a two on two break. Mayet. He's got Book. Both defensemen on the rush. Centering pass. Now the Vitos will bring it back. That's Haché. Pass too far for Melanson. Leblanc will play the puck. And now it's a one on one. Jayet. Gets by Dag. Dag who fell to the ice. That shot. That's off the crossbar. He had LeBlanc beat. LeBlanc behind the net. Leaves it for Richard. He's got Ferguson on the other side. Richard goes to Ferguson. Ferguson shot. That's blocked in front. LeBlanc. Trying to chip it down low, still in control of the puck, rolling puck, shot, save LeBlanc, he'll keep it in the mitt. 146 left. Off the draw, cleanly won by the Coyotes, trying to go down low for Bosk. And now got an opportunity to pass, looking for Chambers, who got through the defenders. But he shot. For Leblanc, back to Richard. 125 left, Leblanc. Couldn't get the pass, and now it's a two on one for the Coyotes. Rabat. Rabat slowing things down. Gets by the defender, great individual effort, but he sends that one high over the glass and out of play. He had everyone beat. 
and he cannot believe it. Kalon got stripped of the puck by Ferguson. Sonia finds Ferguson on the far side, couldn't get a shot. Down to the last minute of this overtime period, Ferguson takes a shot that's off the blocker of LeBlanc. Long rebound off the glass, and Ferguson gets tripped up. And it's an offside called against the Vitos. Fans wanted a penalty on Cormier. the draw. Puck is pushed in and now here comes Rabat. See if he can find redemption after missing that opportunity. Jayet. 35 seconds left in overtime. Richard puts on the brakes. Chance here! And Rabat. Wrist shot that's blocked. Richard. Jayet back to Richard. Rabat. Jaillet, high slot, shot, save, off the board, rebound. And LeBlanc sliding to his left makes the save. Yeah. 11.9 seconds to go here in this overtime period. If it stays tied, we will go to a shootout. What a way to start off this tournament. Rabat. Low shot off a skate. And the last few seconds will come off the clock. And uh, we will go to a shootout. Official going, officials are going to the respective benches to see what will be the lineup for the shootout. The Coyotes will shoot first. And there's Sebastien Gould. First shooter for the Coyotes comes in, shot off the stick of LeBlanc and goes over the glass. The top goal scorer for the Vitos, Lianic LeBlanc. LeBlanc. Brings it up, goes back in, and a save made by Zachary Leblanc. Yannick Leblanc had a penalty shot in the first period earlier tonight. And uh, Zachary Leblanc made the save. Sonny. Sprawls to the ice, trying to go with the old dangle. That was Miguel Saunier. Alex Melanson got the first goal tonight for the Vitos. He'll bring it up. Stays towards the middle. 
Kicks the puck up, kicks the leg up, goes, try to go up high, but it goes over the net. Nobody has scored here after two rounds. Alexi Maillet, defenseman. Maillet, shot, save, LeBlanc. So the Vitos could win it here. That'll be on the stick of Johnny Chambers. The captain. Trying to finish this off for the Vitos. Chambers goes around, but his shot goes wide. So we are going here, it's basically sudden death. Alex Ferguson, here round four. Ferguson, down the middle, Ferguson, pops it, goes backhand and that goes wide. Chris Dunham for the Vitos. Could win it here. Dunham goes around, puts on the brakes, and puts it in the back of the net. Oh, we're going to have a fifth round here for the shootout. Are we? No, it's going to be a fifth round. So it's not sudden death. So Miguel Poirier needs a goal here. So usually they go three rounds, but this time they went five. Poirier needs a goal. Poirier fakes it and fans on the shot. And the Vitos gets the win in a shootout three to two. So both teams are going to stay on the, on the ice for players of the game ceremony. Francis Rabat gets player of the game for the Coyotes. No surprise for the Vitos, the goaltender, Jeremy LeBlanc, gets player of the game with a stellar performance and the win in a shootout. So once again, the final here, 3-2 shootout win. The Vitos have a record of 1-0, while the Coyotes have a 0-0-1 record. Both these teams will be playing tomorrow. The Vitos will be will be playing against Antigonish, the representatives of Nova Scotia, while PEI will be playing against the Kent Coyotes at 7.30. The Vitos will be playing at 4 o'clock. But our first game will be at 12 noon tomorrow with the representatives from Newfoundland, Labrador, Mount Pearl against the Sherwood Metros from PEI will be on the ice at 12 o'clock, 12.30 Newfoundland. So be with us tomorrow all day. Once again, final 3-2 win for the Moncton Vitos against the Kent Coyotes from all of us here at the Cocan Arena. I'm Roger Surrett saying so long and until tomorrow.